Ladies and gents, by the end of this video, you're not only going to learn exactly how to start a paid community as a growth operator, you're also going to learn how to do that without spending a single dollar, single euro, peso, or shingle. One of the most common... Okay. So before we go there, we're going to get straight to the questions that was left in the comment section of his video. I want to make sure you guys have full clarity and you know exactly how this growth operator thing works because... Obviously, a lot of uh, questions were unanswered in the video, and that's not his fault or anything like that. He didn't know you guys were going to have these questions. So we're going to bring clarity today just in case you want to do the growth operator business model. I do something and teach something similar called agency to partner, where we teach you how to implement 10 different monetization methods where it's kind of like you're buying into ownership of the business without putting in your own money so it's similar to growth operating uh but let me answer the questions for you so if one of you guys asks how is growth operating different from running an smma agency first of all you don't have to put all of those a's on there one of the a's is already you know it stands for agency but anyway a social media marketing agency, guys, is just the typical marketing agency. Uh, you're getting clients on retainer, but you don't have any other uh, vested interest other than the monthly payment that they're going to give you. You're not bought into it. You're not sewn into it. You're not getting percentages of profit and revenue share. You can't get equity in the business and everything like that. Growth operating allows you to become more of their partner versus you just being their operating agency or everything like that. So you get more of a piece of their business. You get to like own certain assets and everything as a growth operator. So you just have your hands into more things. Okay. Now, number two, uh, if we don't have testimonials, how do we get partners? Okay. Well, there are multiple ways that you can do this, guys. You can go ahead and do some work up front for free, or you can leverage case studies and testimonials of this working. But in order for that to work, it has to be popular, well-known case studies, uh, maybe of influencers or actual like public companies that they have out there. Like when Nike partners with Jordan, Nike would have never became who they are today if they never partnered with Michael Jordan back in the day. So that's a good example. You're going to be their Nike, right? You're going to handle all of the marketing, advertising, and copywriting, and launching of their products and sales. And they're just going to be able to stand in their purpose and their gift and all of that stuff. So that's a way of, you know, getting them to agree without any testimonials. You just have to bring clarity to the potential partner. Number three question, when creating a growth partners community, make sure you use your own. Oh, somebody asked, should they use their own email? I said that you should make sure that you use your own email and contacts to create these, uh, these assets online that you're going to be creating for these partners because you don't want them to, you know, leave you out. You don't want them to like launch everything without you. You do all this work and everything, and then you don't own anything. So that sucks. So a way of protecting yourself is creating all the uh, the platforms and uh, the communities, all of that stuff with your own contact information. But make sure you're transparent. You're putting that into your agreement form if you have an agreement form with them, right? Okay, so now, number four, and we're going to get to the video. We're going to react to this video and everything of how you start growth operating from zero, and we'll talk about that, how we can put a twist on it. All right, so do you have, uh, do you close clients before building their course and community? Or do you like build a course and community before you close the client? Now that goes back into the last question that we were just talking about. If you already have authority and trust and stuff, or if you have case studies, or if you, if you can clearly show them what's going to happen step by step and how they're not going to have to do anything really hands-on besides creating content, then you can go ahead and close them first. And a lot of you guys are asking this because you want money from them up front right? <laughs> but guess what? You need to be in it for the long haul. If this is really your partner, what I would suggest you do is have them pay for any type of software or memberships or something that needs to be done, but not give you any money out of their pocket. They don't know you like that yet. You don't have testimonials yet. But if you really have confidence in your skill set of what you can do, and they have good engagement with their audience and their their you know community that they current, currently have, then you'll know it's going to make money if they don't already have a course or a community. You know it's going gonna, it's gonna to make money. So you don't need them to pay you some big sum up front because that's going to impede your, you know, uh, your, your speed.
right? Like you, you're going to have to go through hella messages before you get somebody to agree to paying you something up front. Just being real with you. If you're a nobody, then you, nobody's going to want to give you money. Okay. All right. So five, how do we handle payments and how do contracts work? You guys, I can't give legal advice or any of that extra bull crap right there. But what we do is we do agreements, right? We ain't doing no like super contractual bull crap. And we do simple agreements and you can collect payments since you're going to gonna, you're going to be the ones owning the assets. I would recommend that you guys like handle the payments as well, or you can set it up with certain custom uh, payment. Pro um, what do you call them? Uh, you know, where they create the like, payment buttons and everything like that for you. You can set it up with them to where split payments automatically go in both of you guys' bank, but usually they're going to want, um, you know, history of you guys' sales and you guys are just getting started. So for now, just accept payments any way that you can. All right, let's get to the video. One of the most commonly asked questions that I get about this business model is, can I do this without spending any money up front? The answer is absolutely. I've been in the exact same position before where I was looking for an online business to start that required legitimately no money up front to start. So many people would claim that their business model would do that, but there would always be hidden costs and fees associated with it. Well, in this video today, I'm gonna to show you exactly what you need to start growth operating, exactly. Okay, so can you start a growth operating business with no money up front? So how we teach you on the agency to partner model is you're gonna immediately start plugging in the 10 monetization methods uh, that we teach you to plug in. So I give you guys a couple of them. That way you can know for sure that you'll be able to start making money pretty much instantaneously uh, once you get a partner to agree with you without having to spend any money. So. Um, if you're partnering with a local business or if you're partnering with a bigger creator that's maybe sold something before, is is very common for them to already have an email list. It's very common for them to already have an SMS list. So guess what? If they already have these things, you could do stuff like uh, reactivation campaigns. So these people have been on their list for a while and maybe haven't bought nothing from them in a while, don't even know that they have something new out there. You can send out a text blast, an email, email blast um, to this list, uh, you know, letting them know, hey, guess what? We have, uh, you know, $36, $100, you know, $36 teeth whitening special going on right now. And guess what? Since you didn't have to spend any money on advertising or whatever, that's free money for that, that creator or that partner, your growth partner that you partnered with that they wouldn't have had unless you, you know, without you doing that blast. So that's what makes it super powerful for you to like plug straight in. And the good thing about it is, let's say you're trying to build your own email list of, you know, people that are in the dental niche so that you can sell them affiliate offers later on. The more partners that you partner with in the dental niche, they have to give you access to their email and, and SMS. They have to because now you're a partner, right? So even though you're going to be marketing for them on their behalf, since you're a partner, you have permission, if you put it in an agreement, to be able to like promote to that list like different affiliate offers and stuff like that, maybe even CPA offers. Okay, so that's a, one of the ways you can like start getting money instantaneously when you partner with them without spending any money. Let's move on. Exactly what you need to start outreaching to creators, exactly what you need to start getting paid, and exactly what you need to build and operate a paid community. First, let's talk about what you need to start growth operating. A lot of people stress that when they start, they have to register their business, file, and pay thousands and thousands of dollars in fees, which isn't the case at all. Now, obviously, laws... Okay, so this is a good point right here. Um, a lot of y'all, and I think it's fear, you know, understand procrastination, right? Uh, a lot of y'all be like, yo, what do I need to set up? Do I need to go get my LLC, my DBA, all of these extra things like that. First, you want to make sure a business model is working. Like I said, I can't give you legal advice, but you're going to spend all this money and you're not even sure if you're going to go and stick with this business model. You're just testing it out right now. So me, what I would do, since I can't give you legal advice, is I would go and make some money with it first. I'm like, okay, yeah, yeah, I, I could do this. <laughs> I could do this. And then if I'm like, you know what, I made some money with it, but I don't know if I want to go and I could dip without having all this extra stuff that I invested into it. But if I do like it and want to continue, then I can go and legitimately set up. But the good thing about this growth operating model, guys, is you're building behind brands as long as they're this is not legal advice 
<laughs> as long, you know, unless you're really trying to make your own branded agency and stuff. But if you're just trying to make some money with these guys, they have the brand, they have the LLC, you're working on their behalf, you're a partner of theirs. They have the legal protection and all of that stuff, guys. This stuff is not in your name per se, right? So, I mean, like when you're promoting their their product and their service and making their community, their face is going to be on it, not yours. So what you worried about a freaking LLC for? You're procrastinating. Obviously, laws and regulations vary from state to state and country to country, and this is not any form of legal or tax advice whatsoever, but what I could do for you today is just share my story of how I got started. When I got started, I did not open an LLC right away. I actually started off as a sole proprietor. This is basically just someone that owns a business by themselves. Most people, when getting started in most forms of online business, just start off as a sole proprietor. For example, all digital freelancers are sole proprietors. These sole proprietorships are the easiest and least expensive form of online business to start. All you have to do is just search up how to register for a sole proprietor in for sure like you can do that with the uh, irs.gov like super fast like everybody's thinking about taylor brands and uh what is the freaking call what's the other one uh north northern northwestern um and what's the one we went through uh legal zoom and all of these guys dog you paying them all these fees up front Ooh, i gotta get me an agent in delaware <laughs> And all of this extra stuff. And then you go out to actually try the business model and be like, look, this stuff for the birds. And now you done already done came out all that money, man. Y'all tripping, dude. Just prove the business model. Just prove the business. Not that the business model works because it actually works, but prove that you can do it. Prove that like it's a way that you actually want to go out and earn sole proprietor in whatever location you're in and with this you don't need to register your business legally you just need to choose a name i started off as a sole proprietor until me and my business partner were making around 5k a month or so from our business and then we decided to open up an llc in july of 2021 okay so that 5k per month that him and his partner was making it made sense for him to go ahead and start getting everything set up properly and legalized because now he knew okay yeah this is something i'm on the good thing about the growth uh, operator business model, guys, and, and business models like this, the hybrid payments and everything, when you have this community that you created for uh, the creator's audience is a subscription-based model. So they're going to be paying like like monthly. You understand? So you don't have to worry about like running out of money. So it's, it's a proven model, guys. Okay. This is a limited liability company and it's just a business structure that helps you avoid liability and risk. Basically, it separates you from the business and it removes the owner of personal responsibilities, debts, and liabilities. Most states have some type of fee to open up and register an LLC, which is why I wouldn't really worry about that until you're in a position like we were. We're already making a couple thousand dollars per month. As a sole proprietor, you only have to pay taxes on your profit. I would just use the Google Sheet to track your income from the business and your expenses so that you can see your profit each month and then just use a calculator that you can find on Google to figure out what your estimated tax will be and then just put that aside. Okay, so normally I wouldn't go into all of these, you know, details right here, but it's good for him. It's good for him and it's good for your his audience to hear all of this, but I wouldn't really put all this on uh, YouTube. You can get in trouble for that. But guys, he's not lying about anything right now. All right, let's continue. Just put that aside every single month. But next, let's talk about your website. Just kidding, because you actually don't need one as a growth operator. Honestly. Oh, snap. So as you can see, guys, because I'm pretty sure that was a question that a lot of y'all had. Like, okay, so when, I, when should I set up my agency site? When should I do all this, all of that? You are not the, the uh, what do you call it? You're not the superstar of this. You're not the uh, the main character of this story. The creator or the the influencer or the business owner that you're partnering with, that is the one who needs to have a website. That's the one that needs a landing page. That's the one that is going to have their name plastered everywhere in the groups and on the channels and stuff. They might even have YouTube channels. You're not going to be the one doing the creating. You're partnering with the creator, okay? So you don't even need a website, guys. I always tell you guys this. In the current day and age that we live in, fancy websites are completely useless and your social media will act as a website. So for this, you're just gonna be using Instagram. Honestly, you do not need to make a completely separate Instagram. I assume most people have an Instagram already. Personally, I regret creating a completely separate Instagram to start posting content on. And I wish I just used the same Instagram that I've always been using since I started getting on Instagram. Now the reason- So, see, if you wanna streamline this process, guys, 
<laughs> you got to make it as simplistic as possible. As you can see, he's voicing some of his regrets. Why? Because it took time and money away from what he could have today. All of that thinking you need to go and get a profile for this. You need to do a separate profile for that. You need to go hire a person for this. You need to. You are thinking about that at the beginning stages when you shouldn't even be thinking about that. Now, of course, you want to plot and plan, but this is not the time for you to implement a lot of those things that's going to have to be plugged into the business later on. Now, the reason you need an Instagram profile is because you're going to be doing outreach on Instagram to land your first client. It's not necessary that you start posting content or anything like that. You just need to show your face, look like a real human, so that whenever you're doing outreach and creators look at your profile, they actually see that there's a real person here. Have a profile picture with your face in it, and then have a bio that explains your growth operator and explains what you do. You can use IG font front, or it could just be the revenue share that you're going to set up with them, where you take the profit from the paid community and split that in half. Like I've mentioned before, that's how it goes. That's how you get paid. You get profit share from what they make, what you help them make. Now, a lot of them are not good salespeople. So <laughs> what you want to do is you want to first make sure the majority of the ones that you're trying to partner with already, they're already boisterous, charismatic, uh, uh, you know, very vocal. They can explain things properly to their audiences, which, which <laughs> explains to us why they have a decent sized audience. You know what I'm saying? But people follow people for different reasons. This is why you want to make sure that they have good engagement on all of their posts. People ask them a lot of questions. Oh, how can I work with you? Oh, I wish you had a coaching program. Blah, 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 this, right? So you are the answer, right? Maybe they don't have enough time or they don't have any training on how they would go to put together some training, right? And a lot of them are going to just immediately go straight to doing consultation calls and getting paid for that, which is an inefficient way to scale up and to make a lot of money, especially if you got a huge following. You can't do one-on-one -on -one sessions with every freaking body. That's You have a freaking, yeah, aneurysm or something, okay? So, guys, look, you can start growth operating with zero dollars. I strongly suggest you use our model, agency to partner model, which guarantees that you can get up to 250K per month using the 10 monetization methods that you're going to plug into your partner. So this is similar to the growth operating business model, but it's just on steroids, baby. All right. Love you guys. See you on the next.